good morning everyone this is cy uh, welcome back to my channel um, if you're first time joining us um, my channel is all about having fun making coffee and if you have been following my channel you know that recently i've uh, purchased a comadante c40 with nitro baits so um, this morning i'm going to do a little test um, to see the grind consistency between the comandante and the male right hand grinder right uh, and we're gonna see how the coffee tastes on the grinder grinded by these two uh, fine machines um, these are really great addition to your uh, power over tools um, and I have also purchased the uh, the red clicks right because I've uh, read from review that Commandante is great for pour over um, but it can't really do a proper espresso so I have purchased the red clicks but before I install this I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna test the built-in right uh, the burr set and the click that comes originally with the Commandante right so this is what we're gonna do this morning and this morning we're gonna use the coffee beans which I've roasted um, uh, from this is actually the Yunnan coffee beans, which is the red wine series. What right, is um? Let me see. It's a natural, sun dried. Um, the carbon test has got awarded for about eighty four point two five score. Right, and the elevation of the plantation is actually. Uh, 1,450 meters to 1,640 meters above sea level so I presume that that's pretty high in altitude and the tasting notes for this coffee that we're gonna have today is actually uh, tropical fruits red wine and mango right so it has very very high sweetness and high brightness and high um, very good kind of acidity right so that's the kind of uh, tasting note from the beans we're going to use today All right so maybe before we start let me show you the coffee beans again this is of course roasted by myself right uh, nowadays i don't really buy beans especially specialty beans from outside anymore right. so this is the light really light roasted beans right this is actually the yunnan bao shan coffee beans right if you have not tasted them before you should right and i'll be running a promotion on this together with my meal right grinder very soon right and the red wine smell is really very quite strong right uh, you can smell it directly from the beans when you open the back right uh, i've scattered some beans on the table Right now to make it look nice uh, for photo shoot, but it's actually to get the grind size right in. Uh, get the right, uh, get the same grind size on both the Commandante and the uh, mirror right hand grinder. Right, so we're going to try to get to around the same kind of uh, coarseness. Right, so that bef before we can start making coffee and compare them. Okay, right. Usually I'll get pretty good uh, results from forty five clicks on my. Uh, me right so i'm just going to get started by throwing a few beans inside and get the grind size for uh, 45 clicks on the mill right right so before that i want to double check that i'm at 20, 45 clicks all right so i'm actually returning to the preset zero right so you can see that the uh, the burr adjustment on the mill right is actually stainless steel, right? Um, it's CNC milled, so it's very very beautiful in finishing, right? And the golden color that you see is actually the color of the um, burr set, which is actually hardened steel with titanium uh, with uh, titanium coated, right? So it appears in bronze or gold in color, which is very very beautiful, right? So I'm just going to turn um, 45 clicks. That's five. That's fifteen. 
25, 35, right, that's 45, right, so this is the kind of sound, right, then we turn the adjustment knob at the bottom of the grinder on the mill, right. Right, so I'm just going to throw in two bins right inside. Right, um it is like uh, the kind of table sort, slightly coarser than the table sort um, green size. So on the command nante, I will also try to achieve that. Right. Okay, let me reset. Okay, this is the adjustment knob on the command nante. Right, let me return it to zero. So I think I have a 13 clicks there. So this is reset back to zero. Right, so now uh, I will be adjusting. Uh, I will try to see at 15 to see how it goes. Right, so this is actually size 15. Right, then this is the sound produced by the click when you try to adjust the grind size. Right, same thing, I'm going to throw in two bins and grind it. Okay, let me leave it on. Right. Okay, let me feel the texture. Right, uh, I don't have a, a crew sieve, so uh, I'll try to get a set of those to be more scientific. But at the moment, I'll just be using my sense of touch and my sense of uh, sight to see whether the grind size is roughly the same. Right, sorry, I couldn't be more scientific uh, as compared to what some other people has been doing. Right, this is the best I can do at the moment. Right, I think the mirror is slightly finer. Right, so I'm just gonna go. Um, slightly finer on the commandante right uh, same thing if you turn um, clockwise you're going finer so I'll probably go two clicks finer right so now we're at 13 clicks same thing I'm going to throw two bins inside Oh, when I grinded the beans, the smell of the coffee is so good. Hmm, I would say that they are very close now. Yep, the grind size is almost the same now. Right, so uh, if you own both the Com Comandante and the mill, right, right, please give me some feedback. Right, on 40 45 clicks on my mill, right, and 13 clicks on my Comandante, actually achieving about the same kind of coarseness. Right, so let me bring you closer to uh, the, the to check on the consistency of the grind size. Right, let me just uh, use my finger to spread out the coffee bean so that you can see better. Okay, I'm not too sure whether my camera can zoom in that that well. Right, so this is from the Comandante. Right, I would say the grind is okay. The shape varies a little bit, right? Let's check it out. Uh, check out the mill right. This is from the mill right.
right? So you can see this for your own eyes. Um, of course, it's uh, sorry about the camera quality, right? That's the best I can do, right? Right, that's from the mill right again, right? And that is actually from the Comandante, right? So I can see that the Comandante is more jagged, angular in, in shape, whereas the uh, the one on the mill right, I think um, it's more square, squarish, right? Or more rounded. I'm not too sure, right? Yeah, I think you are the best judge out there. So let me know in down in the comment section below, right? What do you think about the grind distribution, right? Whether which one do you think is actually more consistent? Okay, so I have got the grind, grind size dialed in, right? So right now I'm just going to measure about 10 grams of coffee. Uh, so that we're going to do a quick comparison on the taste later on. Right, in the very near future, so I'll also be doing a comparison of all the conical burr grinder I have, right, which is actually the Comandante, uh, the Millwright, the Niche, uh, my, and my Smart Grinder Pro. So I'm going to do a comparison among these four. Right, and of course, since I get the red clicks for the Comandante, I will definitely be testing on the Espresso Grind as well. So I'm going to test against my... Um, niche as well because niche is a capable espresso machine just that like it gives us a different tasting profile right it gives us more of a fruity and citrus kind of profile rather than uh, more, um, mellowed chocolatey and nutty kind of taste profile right so that is the 10 grams Right, that's 10 gram on the Comandante as well. Okay, let me get this extra ground. Okay, so let me clear this piece of paper as well. Right, the next part, I'm going to see how long it takes for us to grind uh, 10 grams of coffee beans on the mill right uh, versus the Comandante. Right, so let's start with the Comandante. Right, I'll be using my timer on my uh, weighing machine, right? So the moment I start, I will start to grind. Right, it takes about 30 seconds right, to finish grinding the 10 grams of coffee beans on the Comandante. Right, that's 10, uh, about 30 seconds. Right, so let's see how fast or how, how slow it can take us on the uh, mill right. Okay, so start. And I will try to grind at the same speed. So the grinding sound is slightly different.
okay 30 seconds as well right so which means both grinded the beans re relatively quickly right and it completed the 10 grams of coffee bean in about 30 seconds on both right um, yep exactly 30 seconds on both right so now we have uh, finished grinding the beans and let's get ready to set up my pour over right I'm going to use uh, two V60 right the same kind of filter paper right uh, and with two weighing scale right so that we can be fair to compare uh, the two coffee that's being made from this two grinder right so you can see now I have my two V60 set up right and I'll be using uh, the filter paper that comes with the V60 which is actually the unbleached paper right I, I think some of you say that it's better to use the bleached one because the unbleached paper tend to have a greater paper taste but uh, I'll just give you a thorough rinse right so that uh, I'll try to carry off as much of the paper taste as possible Okay, so the paper has been folded, right, let me get some hot water, right, so now I've got my water boiled, right, so I'm just going to give a thorough rinse on the paper. Right, my current water temperature is about 97 degrees Celsius, so it's pretty hot. Right, so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to empty the coffee ground into the funnel. Let's get this water out. All right, let's start the weighing scale. Right, I will be digging a small little hole. Okay, let me let me bring let me bring you closer so that you can see uh, it better. All right. Okay, so let's do let's do it. Uh, the first stage will be the blooming stage. Okay, use about 26, 27 grams of water and let it uh, bloom for about 30 seconds. Right, and since I'm using 10 grams, I'll be using 150 grams of water. I'm just going to pour from the center slowly uh, in concentric way, moving to the side. Right, and I'm just going to pour all at one shot until it hit about... Uh, okay, I probably can't do that because I have to do it on the other side as well. So I'm going to stop at 90 grams. Right, okay, so coming back and now I will finish up all the way until 150 grams. Right, that's about 150 grams. Okay, 
Okay, this one is hitting 150 gram as well. So I'll just let the water drain out. Just show you the drawn down time for both. Okay, the drawn down is completed about two and a half minutes on the Commandante. So I'm going to remove this. Right, the drawn down on the mill right is about 2 minutes 25 seconds, so it's about 5 seconds earlier. Right, so this is the best I can do to be fair. Okay, so now is the moment of truth, right? Um, the first one I'm going to pour is the coffee made from the mill right, which is this one. Right, the, this one, the second brew is actually from the Commandante. Right, let's give you a smell. Okay, let's smell the Commandante first. Right, it brings out um, the descripting, the descriptors in the, um, in the coffee. Right, so um, this is actually the Yunnan Baoshan uh, red wine treated coffee, right? It's actually aged in the red wine bottle, so therefore it has the red wine uh, flavor. Okay, let me smell the one on new right. Okay, I would say that it's pretty close, okay, but. Um, to be honest, right? The Commandante actually gives me a better, slightly better aroma, right? It brings out the aroma slightly better, right? On a scale of 1 to 10, if 8 is the aroma given out by the Commandante, right? 10 being the best, the mirror will be around 7. Or even 7.5 it's pretty close but there is a still a subtle distinction between the two right the one the aroma on the uh, commandante right is slightly better slightly more uh, slightly stronger as compared to the mirror right right so that is on the smell right so the second one i'm just going to give you a slurp First one will be the Commandante. Wow. Very balanced. I can definitely taste uh, tropical fruit. Um, yep, I can feel the tint of mango there. Let me give you another slurp. It is very, it's bright, but it's not uh, really that acidic. It's very very well balanced, right? Okay, so that is the first cup on the Commandante Right Right, I actually went to get a glass of water a cup of water Right now I will be slurping the the one from the meal, right? Okay, um, there's a slight difference in the body. Okay, let me try on the Commandante again. Okay, the Commandante gives a fuller body.
but it's very very close okay in terms of body both are extremely smooth okay again on a scale of 1 to 10 if Comandante is about 8 I will say that the mirror is about 7.5 right that's how close you get comparing the two um, yeah the, the, the taste of the coffee Yeah, it's very close. Both are not really acidic. Um, acidity is expected from this kind of uh, coffee bean, which is roasted lightly, because I want to taste the berry, uh, the fruit from the coffee. Right, so both present a very well uh, balanced uh, coffee. Uh, it's very well extracted, not under extracted, not overly extracted. It is just on the dot. And uh, I will say that the two grinder producers coffee, they are very, very close to each other, right? Um, I will say that if I give 80 marks for Comandante, I will give 75 to 77 marks for the meal, right? Right? So, yeah, that's my feedback on the grinder, right? Uh, so far, I have uh, tested these two, right? I will be getting my hand on the Kinu, right? I hope that I can borrow it from my friend. Right, I have a friend that actually owns uh, Kinu, right? Recently, I just found out he shared with me. Uh, he has the Kinu Classic. Uh, I, I think if you watch my videos, you will know who am I speaking to. So, uh, can I borrow the Kinu uh, Classic from you to do a, a comparison, right? If you can, right, uh, please get in touch with me and uh, I'll take good care of it, right? So, both grinders are excellent, right? If you really want to pick a winner, right, the Comandante is the winner, right, but the winning percentage is maybe about 5%, right, that's the difference between the two, uh, the, the quality of the coffee made by the two grinder, right, it's the difference is only about 5%, right, um, just bear in mind the price difference, right, the Comandante, right, um, cost me around $400, uh, the Mirite cost me about $220, right, so uh, that will be in Singapore dollar, Right, so that is actually the price difference between the two, right? Uh, as comparing to the build quality, both have excellent build quality, right? Depends on whether you prefer the wood or the vernier kind of uh, quality on the Comandante, whereby, you know, mine is an American cherry, so they actually use a cherry bark and uh, sort of uh, stick it around the external casing, right? Whereas the Milrite is purely just aluminum milk, right? Uh, and the burr is actually a... Uh, hardened steel burr uh, coated with titanium right um, right and the Comandante actually comes with uh, I think it's an alloy right uh, it's an alloy uh, infused with nitrogen right so um, I'll probably be taking the burr out uh, to take a look at the burr set right very soon in the next uh, in the next few videos right so uh, depends on your budget right so uh, both are excellent grinders right so uh, thank you for watching my video uh, my videos today right and uh, stay with me throughout the entire process of comparing the two uh, grinder right so uh, again both are excellent grinder right um, okay so uh, thank you for watching and uh, remember to like and subscribe to my channel like my videos right and share my videos to your friend who are also fellow uh, coffee lover especially if they love uh, pour over or trick style coffee right and uh, remember to ring the bell right for uh, any future uh, not notification on my uh, video releases right so thank you once again right see you very soon